Deamus omnes in Domino, die in festum celebrantes, honore sanctorum omnium, decorum solemnitate gaudem tangeri et collaudam filium dei, sultate just in Domino rectos de cet collaudatio, gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, secut erat in principi et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Caudeamus omnes in Domino, die in festum celebrantes, Sub honore sanctorum omnium, decorum solemnitate gaudem tangeri, et collaudant filium dei. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Gloria in excelsis Deo et in terra pax omnibus boni voluntatis, Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratia satimus tibi propter maniam, gloriam tuam, Domine Deus rec celestis, Deus Pater omnipotens, Domine sil unigenite Iesu Christe, Domine Deus agnus dei filius patris, quit olis peccata mundi miserere nobis, quit olis peccata mundi susi per de peccationem nostram, qui sede se dexteram patris miserere nobis, Uniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu, in gloria dei patris. Amen. Dominus obiscum. Oremus. Omnipotens em piterne Deus, qui nos omnium sanctorum tuorum merita, sub un attribuisti celebritate venerari, questum su desideratam nobis tue propitiationis abundantiam, multiplicatis intercessoribus largiaris, per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui te cum vita et veniat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculo. Lectio Libri Apocalipsis Beati Ioannis Apostolis. In diebus ilis et cego Ioannes vidi alterum, angelum ascendentem abortus solis abentem signum dei vivi, et clamavit voce mania quatur angelis, qui bus datum es nocere teret mari dicens, nolite nocere teret mari neque arboribus, quadusque signemus servus dei nostri in frontibus eorum, et audivi numerum signatorum centum quadraginta quator milia signati, ex omni tribu filiorum Israel, ex tribu Iuda duodici milia signati, ex tribu Ruben duodici milia signati, ex tribu Gad duodici milia signati, ex tribu Aser duodici milia signati, ex tribu Neftali duodici milia signati, ex tribu Manasse duodici milia signati, ex tribu Simeon duodici milia signati, Ex tribu Levi, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Issachar, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Zabulon, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Yosef, duodeci milia signati. Ex tribu Benjamin, duodeci milia signati. Postec, vidi turba moaniam, quan dinumerare nemo poterat. Ex omnibus centibus et tribubus et populis et linguis, stantes ante tronum et inconspectu agni, amic distori salmis, et palme in mani buseorum, et clamavan voce mania dicentes, salus Deo nostro cuised et super tronum et agno, et omnes angelis tabet in circuitu troni et seniorum et quator animalium, et cecideront in conspectu troni in facies suas, et adoraderont Deum dicentes, Amen. Benedicti, et claritas, et sapientia, et graziarum actio, Honor et virtus et fortitudo, Deo nostro in secula seculorum. Amen. Deo gracias. Timete dominum omne sancti eius, quoniam nicil de estimentibus eum, inquirente sautem dominum non defici in tomni bono. Alleluia, alleluia, venite ad me omnes qui laboratis et onerati estis, et ego reficiam vos. Alleluia.
Dominus obiscum. Sequencia Sancti Evangelii secundum Mateo. In illo tempo evidenzi Jesus tobas ascendit in montem, et cum sedisset a ceserunt a Deum discipuli eius, et aperiens osum doceva teos dicens, Beati fau per espiritu quoniem ipsorum et genium celorum. Beati mites quoniem ipsi possidebum terran. Beati ucilucent quoniem ipsi consolabuntur. Beati uque surrion tecitium justitiam quoniem ipsi saturabuntur. Beati misericordes quoniam ipsi misericordiam consequentur. Beati mundo corde quoniam ipsi deum videbunt. Beati pacifici quoniam fili dei vocabuntur. Beati qui persecutionem patiuntur propter justitiam quoniam ipso cum est renium celorum. Beati estis cum maledixerint vobis et persecuti vos pueri et dixerint omni malum adversum vos mentientes propter me. Gaudet et exultate, quonia merces vespa, copiosa est in cielo. Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. There was a great multitude which no one could number. In our epistle this morning, we hear the great vision that God gave to St. John and the, uh, the Apostle of heaven, of the life of heaven, of the throne of God, surrounded by those continually worshipping. We hear tribe after tribe of the people of Israel who are in heaven, and then this great multitude which no one could number. But who are they? These are the saints, those who have followed Christ through life and have found victory in him in death. It's a sign to us that all of us are called to holiness. This is a multitude beyond number, that by our baptism, Christ calls each one of us to the life of heaven. Today we celebrate the feast of all saints, the feast of the saints we know, those who we can name, those whose images adorn our church, but also the, saint, the feast of the saints we don't know, those who haven't been officially canonized, but those who still live in the presence of God in heaven. Maybe some we have known on earth, but we don't know who are rejoicing with God in heaven now. The, this great multitude, there are three things which mark them out. They have a sign on their forehead, they're dressed in white robes, and they hold a palm of victory in their hands. When you were a baby and you were baptised, one of the first things the priest did was to mark a cross on your head to claim you for Christ. You belong to him. Those who dwell in heaven, those who we see in the vision of the apocalypse, belong to Christ. They are claimed by him. But this mark isn't just some symbol. They lived their lives in a way that showed they belonged to Christ, a way that's laid out for us in the Beatitudes in the Gospel today. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for example, those who don't rely simply on material things. So they belong to Christ by their way of life. They're dressed in white robes. Again, when you were a baby, when you were baptized, or maybe as an adult, you were dressed in a white robe as a sign 
at the life of grace that you're clothed in by the sacrament of baptism. When priests are on the altar, they wear a white owl or a cotter as a sign of baptismal grace. And in heaven, the same thing. You may know that traditionally when people die, they're dressed in a white shroud in their coffin as a sign of the life of grace, of this baptismal grace, which is, as it were, the passport to the life of heaven. So the next thing that's important for holiness is the life of grace. And thirdly, the third thing they hold is the palm of victory. Specifically for martyrs, those who have given their life for Christ, as mentioned in the Beatitude, blessed are those who suffer for the sake of righteousness. But all of us have to live a spiritual combat, fighting against those things which lead us away from Christ. As the scriptures tell us, the world, the flesh, and the devil. The world whose values are different to those of our Lord's teaching. The evil one who wants to lead us away from the Lord and the flesh, ourselves. Those desires within ourselves that are contrary to the teaching of the gospel. And each day is a spiritual battle to put those things aside and to put into practice the teaching of Jesus Christ. Three things that the saints in heaven are marked with. But three things each one of us must undertake in our call to holiness, to put into practice the teaching of Christ, to be marked by the way we lead our lives as his follower, to maintain the state of grace, and to engage each day in this spiritual combat, to fight to follow Christ. There are two things we ask today as we celebrate the Feast of All Saints. We seek the intercession of those who have gone before us and now rejoice in the life of heaven. But we also seek their example and their encouragement that we too might put into practice this radical life of following Christ. A life that's open to all of us. This call to holiness is rooted in our baptism, which each one of us have received. It's a high calling that God gives us. Be perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. It's a high calling, but one that is possible with God's grace. The path is described for us in the Beatitudes today. So maybe it's worth time looking at them, looking at today's Gospel and thinking, how do we live out these Beatitudes? They might seem impossible, but they're not. Each of the Beatitudes is supported by a virtue and by a gift of the Holy Spirit. God gives us what we need to become a saint. So today, we seek their intercession, that we might follow their example, and one day rejoice with them among that great multitude before the throne of God in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs>
tascenit in celum sete da dexteram patris, et iterum venturus est cum gloria judicare vivos et mortuos, cuius regni non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patre filio que procedit, qui cum patre et filio simula duratur et cum glorificatur, qui locutus est per profetas. Et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confiteor unum baptisme in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus Tobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuum. Oremus. Justorum anime in mano Dei sunt, et non tangent illos tormentum malitiae, visi sunt oculis in simpientium mori, illi autem sunt in pace. Alleluia. Per omnia secula seculorum, Dominus obiscum, Sursum corda, Grata sagamus Domino Deo nostro. Vere dignum et justum est, ecum et salutare, 
nos tibi sempre tuve cui cacha sacere, Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eterne Deus, per Christum Dominum Nostrum, per cui majestatem tuam laudan tanceli adoran dominaciones gemunt potestates, celi celorum cui virtutes ac beata serafim, soci exultacione concelebrant, cum cui vos et nostras voces ut admiti iubias de pecamu, suplici confessione dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabao. Denisunt celis terra, gloria tua, o San in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, o sana in excelsis.
per omnia secula seculorum. Orimus precepti salutaribus moniti, et divini institutione formate audemus dicere. Pater noster, quis in celi sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panim nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum, pax domini sit semper hobiscum. Agnus de equitolis peccata mundi miserere nobis. Agnus de equitolis peccata mundi miserere nobis. Agnus te equitolis peccata mundi dona nobis pace. Misriato vestri omnipotens Deus, e dimissis peccatis vestris, preducat vos ad vitam eternam. Indulgentiam absolutionem et remissionem peccatorum vestorum, tribuat vobis omnipotens et misericors dominus. Amen. 
Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccata mundi. Domine non cum dignus, vinces su tecum meum, se tanto mi clavo et sonavitum panima mea. Domine non cum dignus, vinces su tecum meum, se tanto mi clavo et sonavitum panima mea. Domine non cum dignus, vinces su tecum meum, se tanto mi clavo et sonavitum panima mea.
Beati mundo corde, quoniam ipsi deum videbunt, beati pacifici, quoniam fili dei vocabuntur, beati qui persecutionem patientur propter justitiam, quoniam ipsorum est regnum celorum. Dominus obiscum, et vos peccator. Oremus, Taque sumus Domine Fidelibus, populi somnium sanctorum semper venerationem letari, et eorum perpetua supplicationem muniri, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui te convite et regniat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus obiscum, et vos peccatorum, ite missa est, pro gratias. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus obiscum, Amen. 